drop a choke emoji in the chat if I indeed did choke and this is not real. But I skimmed through it as in I literally just, you know, pressed this. And I was like, oh yeah, that, that sounds like LL and then I did this. Sounds like Eminem. Then I googled it, you know. And uh, Google says this is supposedly a leak from LL's album. Um, supposedly to come out this year or next year. And this is a leaked song on it uh, from his Murdergram. But this is Du. Du. Deux. Is that how you say it in French, bro? I think it's Du. But either way, I'm gonna assume it's real. I'm gonna assume it's a leak. And I'm gonna break it down as always. If by the end of the video I'm like, yeah, this. If I recognize lines from Eminem, because I should know all of his songs, I think. If I recognize any existing lines, I'll let you know, obviously, fake, confirmed, but yeah, supposedly real, bro. There was even a, a genius page with it, like, in case I don't get the bars, I guess I'll double check it there. Anyway, let's listen to it, and then go back to the beginning to break it down, uh, as always. Uh, let's kick it.
Supermodels, I ignore them. That should have been me. Why am I not him? Maybe because I'm dressed in my pajamas, breaking down his songs. Yeah, that's why that's not me. And that's why he's him and I'm me. <laughs> anyway, uh, bro says later on, it's like, huh? What? He ignores them and later on they g he gets cool? Huh? Maybe I need to ignore them more often. Yeah, that's gonna mean even less cool for me, bro. Let's be honest. Next. Reincarnation of the Ripper. Like what, Jack the Ripper, bro? Like, ugh, I give stitches and chest zippers. Ugh, disgusting. Cinderella's get propellered out their glass slippers. And Cinderella's, oh, y'all princess is acting high and mighty, bro. Y'all about to get propellered out of your glass slippers, like... Basically like the whole uh, throwing stones at a glass house type of thing, you know? Ugh, bars. <laughs> Time is ticking, giving ass whoopings how we keep the cash flipping. He literally says it here, bro. Drake or J. Cole, Kendrick, the reason for all these beefs is money, bro. They're not actually beefing, bro. They're probably all signed up to the same... Uh, what do you call that label? They probably earn the same money, same guy pays them, like, and y'all keep being like, oh, but this guy's better than this guy. And let's be honest, bro. The reason we like beefs is because it's cool. I mean, even though we know it's fake most of the time, let's be honest. Like, MGK going off of Eminem, you can see that this is just a kid that doesn't know any better. The Drake and Kendrick has to be fabricated, bro. Like, wh what are the odds they actually are beefing, bro? Nah, nah, nah. I don't, I, I do not believe it. But yeah, he says it, time is ticking, and giving ass whoopings is how we keep the cash flipping. Uh, he said it, bro. The James, James said it, not me, you know. Go, 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 go beef with James Stars, not with me, okay? Anyway, let's keep going. How we keep the cash flipping? A simple, simple switch, but I can't understand a single word you're saying. I think you have a brain. I'm the finish, you like polyurethane. This is the part where I click. Uh... Oh, the, the next line is also part of it? Okay. All that molly probably sure to drain your spinal fluid from your vertebrae. All that molly probably sure to drain your spinal fluid from your vertebrae. Ugh, okay. But what does it what does he mean by that? Same. Bro, when he when he said this part, bro, where it's like uh What a super duper swag I can't understand a single word you're saying. I I could have said like the, the same about him, bro. I don't understand what you're saying when you're rapping that uh, what was it? Uh, Godzilla was it? His track, bro, where he goes like, <gasps> like, what are you saying, bro? Like, rap normally, bro. We want to know what you're saying. I don't care about how fast you say it. But anyway, polyurth, whatever this is. Like, how does he say it? Like, polyurethane? Sure. Polyurethane is a flexible chemical compound that is in the form of foam. He's used as. Cushioning for a variety of consumer commercial products. Bedding furniture. Huh? And the bar is. Uh, you have syrup brain about to finish you like poly. Re huh? Polyurethane with Molly Poly sure to drain. <laughs> okay, especially ecstasy. Don't do it. <laughs> do it, you'll probably drain your own. Okay, so he's referencing his own. Okay, from the, the kids. Isn't that the one where he's like talking like Eric Cartman? Is that the one? Yeah, right. Okay, I remember that one too. I just don't remember this line exactly, but I do know Eminem the kids. Like, if I'm correct, that's the one where he speaks like Eric Cartman, like nah, 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 stuff like that. But yeah, okay, it's, that's a that's a big brain bar, bro. Like what? Because polyurethane is literally a finish. So so he's like about to finish you. Like, bro could have said like uh like uh. W uh, finish clean. Like, what is it called? Like, 
cleaning tool or whatever. Cleaning tablets, that's it. He could have said the... Uh... Wait, where is the... Well, I don't know. It's... Oh, there it is. The finish. He could have said, I was about to finish you like uh, this dishwasher cleaner. Like, what? What? <laughs> but uh, he had to say this because for his next bar... <laughs> Referencing his own song. Okay, okay. I follow now, bro. This is uh, this always happens with Eminem, though. It's like you literally start. Uh, you open up a book, you know. You start reading. You're like hundred pages in, and then your girlfriend asks you, like, "Why are you reading that book?" And you're like, "Can't you see? I'm listening to Eminem." It makes sense, you know. Eminem listeners know exactly what I mean. You're basically like uh, opening up Wikipedia and you're looking into Wikipedia, and everyone's like, "Bro, what?" What are you looking up to? <laughs> Can't you see? I'm trying to figure out Eminem lyrics. And everyone's like, huh? It makes sense to us, right? Yeah, it does. Anyway, let's keep going. Yeah, I don't know what Duraflame is either, but I saw that they explained it here. Uh, well, yeah, that one, that one I know. The murder grime. That's why I said, Duke, this is the second part. But what is Duraflame, bro? America's fire log brand leader. Huh? Huh. Do I know this, bro? Duraflame? For some reason, it... Oh, yeah. I've, I've seen this. I guess I just don't barbecue. But, yeah, okay, okay. I, I know what you mean by this. Okay, okay. Uh, He says... Yeah, yeah, He basically calls it out. Okay, okay. Ah! I got you, I got you. I, I should have known what Duraflame is. I should have known. I just don't do barbecues, you know. And wh when I go to barbecues, I'm just there to eat the food, you know, and drink the drinks. Not to actually do the barbecue part, the cooking part, and cleaning part. Like, what am I, an idiot, bro? I just want fun time. Anyway, let's keep going. As far as boulevards, talking about farmers like insurance claims? What am I missing, bro? A boulevard. I know what that is, bro. What about it? A farmer's insurance? Okay. Okay. He's alluding to the fact there's millions out there, but no one is really like him. Mm, okay. Okay. Stand needing a cane, okay. Oh, now he's explaining the second part. Bruh. Isn't this part of this then? Bruh. Hey, whoever wrote this genius is 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 choking, bro. It's harder than me. But apparently, uh, insurance claim. How how am I ever supposed to know that, bro? I'm I'm from Europe, bro. How how why would I know a bunch of American insurance companies, bro? So that bar just flies over my head because I just don't know American insurance company, but apparently farmers insurance. He's talking about farmers like insurance claim, just like the boulevards. Sure, bro. Sure. That's probably a cool bar for you fellow Americans, but uh, hey there fellow Americans. I'm not one. I'm European, so I don't get this, but I did get the second one though. Watch this. He just blew your girl away, just like Hurricane Katrina, because, you know, the tornado blows everything away. But she owns so much blow and lean. I call that fucking whole Katrina. Somebody better give her a cane, because she's slurring and can't walk, you know, obviously. When you're drunk, you can't even speak, let alone walk properly. That's why, you know, when the police stop you, they say, can you walk a straight line, you know, just like, you just, you just go like an idiot, you know. But yeah, that's a bar, bro. <laughs> so better give her a cane, like her a cane, hurricane. That's a word play, basically. That's fire, bro. That's the that's probably the only bar I caught while actually listening to the song. So for everything else, I had to Google because that's just how it goes with Eminem songs, bro. <laughs> I'm going crazy listening to this man, but it's it's too much fun, bro. And LL is calling it as well, bro. Why am I calling him LL, bro? Doesn't LL mean ladies love? Cool James Todd or something like that's his name. No, without the Todd, just James. Ladies love Cool James. So why am I calling him LL, bro? I'm calling him Ladies Love, huh? 
I'll just call them uh, James from now on. James Todd. That sounds cool. James Todd, you know. Wish I had a cool name like that. Oh, well. Anyway. Uh, oh, yeah. Next bar. Okay. What? What? 
and talk about a rental car when I'm pulling the Taurus. Is there an explanation here, bro? Nah, what is it? Taurus car. Bro, I don't know anything about cars, bro. I don't... I work from home, so I don't even have a... Taurus car rental. I guess this is a famous rental car or something. Beats me, bro. Like another one that just flies over my kitten ear headset, bro. I'm talking about a rental car when I'm pulling up the Taurus. Oh, wait. Wait. Taurus gun? Is it a double bar with guns? Ah! Big brain, bro. When someone talks about something American and pulling up, they're talking about guns, bro. Like, these are award-winning pistols and revolvers even. Damn. Golly, boy. Golly, you can just buy this in America, bro. You can be like, yep, uh, this sniper li rifle looking thing. Yep, just give me that. Bro, that's cheap. That's not even a third of a minimum wage earning European, bro. You can buy three guns every month if this is the price, bro. What? Why am I looking into this, bro? Anyway, uh, no guns in Europe. No one cares. Me neither. Uh, what was it? The message in the chorus. Bastard got Nanic Forest. The overload is the rawest. Facts. But yeah, I am talking about a rental car when I'm pulling the Taurus. Ah! That's a bar! My dumbass be thinking like, what about rental cars? Where's the bar? It's guns, guys. When you don't know and it's an American rapping, it's always guns. Like, it's the same with UK. If it's UK and they talk about pulling up on you, it's, it's some sort of a knife. Could be a butterfly knife. Could be something else to shank you with. Could just be a screwdriver, bro. Uh, UK... Stabbings. America, shootings. You know, FYI, <laughs> if you didn't know. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, Brian talking about a rental car when he's pulling up the Taurus, the revolvers. Okay, I got you, I got you, I got you. This is similar, like, um, what do you call that? Like, uh, I mean, similar. There's so many different ways to call a gun in America, you know. When you go with a uh, GAT, you know, weapon, pistol, whip. Obviously, normal words like pistol and revolver, they're always there. But yeah, whip, gat. Bro, there's more. Why can't I think of them right now? I've heard like a million different ways to call a gun. But anyway, let's keep going, bro. Like, get you killed in the forest. We are lyrically this Halloween, them candy bars will get you killed in the forest. We are lyrically lawless. Ah! They're lawless, bro. They can say whatever they want. And right before he says, them candy bars will get you killed in the forest. Candy bars, bro? Bro, literally said you're a little kiddo, bro. Your bars are candy bars, bro. My goodness, that's... If I was a rapper, I'd be like, uh, bro, what do you say? What, what do you say fuck me for? Like, bro, calling my bars, my written candy bars. But that's, that's actually so offensive, but yeah, them candy bars. Obviously, a candy bar is just sweets, you know, so it's a double in a way, but yeah. Let's keep going. Okay, okay, hold up. What, what does he mean by that? Stacking money, hoarders. The slugs that make you forget all that slick ass shit you thought of. Mmm, slugs. That's a, a slug. That's a, a, a bullet, right? A bullet slug. That's what he's talking about. Bro, them slugs will make you forget. Like, ugh. Blow your mind with a sort of. A sort of shotgun is the, the one with double barrel, right? Or what, 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 wait, 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 sawed off shotgun, what, what is it exactly? With a small barrel and stock, sawed off versus double barrel difference, what is the difference, bro? Design and functionality, okay. Oh, I'm a dumbass, bro. Sawed off is literally the the shorter. I'm a dumbass, bro. Okay, okay, okay. I, I, there it is. I, I I took the L. Okay. Now we know. Double barrel, obviously sawed off. It's because it's a short. I get it. Okay, I'm a dumbass. You win. Anyway, let's keep going. 
Is there more gun bars? Probably there is. Let's be honest, bro. They're American, so. Oh, wait, obviously, blow your mind, as in also blow your mind with them bars. The. Because they don't drop candy bars, they drop actual bars, so they're blowing our minds. Whereas them people with the candy bars, the only way you blow a mind is with a shot off. With a shot off shotgun. It's a bar. Cool J created a monster, bro, because he references him a lot, bro. Like, he obviously, like, I mean, he, Eminem has so many people he references, obviously. Like, I think his number one is Redman, Reggie, <laughs> you know. I think he always said, I mean, literally, yeah, what was that one song? Was it like a lapse? He goes, like, uh, uh, oh, I have a list. Here's the order that the list is in. And he's like, goes, um, Oh man, I'm supposed to know this. I think he said Reggie, Jay-Z, Tupac, Biggie. Why am I trying to think it, bro? If I try to sing it, it will be easier. Like, here's the order of my list that it's in. It goes Reggie, Jay-Z, Tupac, and Biggie. I'm missing someone because I was going to say Andre from Outcast. Nas and then me. It's someone else. Andre from Outcast, Nas and then me. But I'm forgetting it, bro. Reggie, Jay-Z, Tupac and Biggie. Who am I forgetting? Oh, I gotta know. I gotta know. Reggie, Jay-Z, Tupac and Biggie. Song Eminem. What was it like? The, I don't know if it's from Till I Collapse. That's why I'm looking it up. Okay. Ah, there it is. Okay, it is Andre from Outcast. Jada, Corrupt, Nas, and then me. Okay, I'm an idiot, bro. I'm an idiot. That's my bad. But yeah, I like Cool J can go right up uh, in that list, bro. Bro is gonna name everyone else but him in the top 10. Humble Eminem, humble. But we know that ain't true, bro. Every rapper wants to be number one, bro. They just say this garbage so, just so that we are like, oh, look at the respect. They all want to be number one, bro. Let's be honest. Anyway, let's actually break this down, bro. Besides, when I say that you ain't fucking with mwah, Ah! Bro, I was gonna say, what does it mean? Like, I don't mean kisses. But when I said it, mwah, it sounded like I'm making a kiss. Is that the bar? Oh my god! Bro, now I think of... Actually, he does that a lot, bro. What was that time he had this freestyle? I think it was a kickoff freestyle. And he literally was like... ah, puh! And then he continued rhyming the spit, basically. The spit noise he rhymed. And this is the same, bro. You ain't fucking with mwah. And I don't mean kisses, boo. Ah! 
<laughs> hey, yo, that's a bar, bro. Hey, yo, how does he keep thinking of these bars, bro? They stay original, bro. He always has one thing where I'm like, I ain't ever heard of this, bro. Golly. What? When I say you ain't fucking with moi, moi, you can say moi. It's just accidentally that I said moi. And it sounded like a kiss. Oh, that's... I love happy coincidences, bro. Or what was it? Happy accidents? What was it that Barbara said, bro? There are no mistakes. Only happy accidents. Ah, R.I.P. To the best of best. But yeah, I do not mean kisses. That's a bar. Mwah. But I got the potential to fucking flip what I mentioned with a pinching to come back with vengeance like Jack the Ripper. I mean, pinching tube. I don't think that Jack the Ripper used the pinching tube, but... Yeah. Anyway, he's just like Jack the Ripper to rip it. Duh. Just giving you a sample, a fucking snippet, like scissors do. And he always do has those, bro. Like, it's always like these pee poo bars, you know, the number ones and twos, where I'm like, ah, oh, M. Come on, man. How many bowel bars do you have? He never stops, bro. No matter how, um, what we call it, how much like a candy bar it sounds. Eminem doesn't care, bro. It's a bar. That's all that matters. I mean, I like it. Snip it like scissors do. They snip things. It's a double, so. Anyway, now when I hit the booth, I think of the days are over when I was quick. Huh? Well, what? Just to fly off the handle like a fucking bitch. Just blew my call. They're plugging from. And snip it like scissors do. Now when I hit the booth, I think of the days are open. I was quick. This one used to fly off the handle like a fucking bitch. Just blew my call. Now when I hit the booth, I think of the days are over when I was quick. This fool used to fly off the handle like a fucking witch's broom. Ah. Okay, now I'm thinking about Harry Potter immediately, bro. The, obviously, there's uh, with the witches. Ah, the fly off the handle. Obviously, you hold the handle and you fly with the broom. That's how they move around in Harry Potter. So when he says he used to fly off the handle like a witch's broom, that's a bar, bro. But what does he mean with the last, with the one before that? Now when I hit the booth, I think of the days are over when I was quick. What? What does he mean by this one line, bro? Is it reference to the next or the one before? Because I can't place it, but regardless, let's keep moving. Uh, I called it plucking flowers because I was so quick to pick a tulip. Click, click. He called it plucking flowers. Because he was took. Is there an explanation here? Uh... Oh, let's see. Like, what did they mean? Mwah. Mwah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. In summary, you ain't fucking with me, okay? Oh, okay, okay. Even the last bar is an example. Okay, okay, I get it. Come back with a vengeance. Kumo D this Stella Cool J. Oh. Ah. Oh. Cannabis. Oh, he was also be beefing with cannabis. Second round. The Ripper strike back. Okay, see, now it makes sense more. Come back with vengeance like Jack the Ripper. He's just referencing the bro where he's uh, rapping with, bro. And he also, you know, this cannabis. So it makes sense. But yeah, there's nothing about this, unfortunately. But what does he mean by this? Huh? Okay. No way. No way. I think of the days I opened, I was quick. This one used to fly off the handle like a fucking witch. Just blew my call to plug in flowers because I was so quick to pick it to look quickly. Like it's been doing There's no way! That is a bar, bro. What? Basically, this about the I got the potential to flick. He's flipping this as well. To pick a two up, but like a tulip. I should have recognized that, bro. I'm from the Netherlands, man. The Netherlands is the number one export of flowers, especially tulips, bro. I should have immediately heard it. Tulip. Two up. Tulip. Actually, I, I couldn't have heard it ever. Two up, two lip. But I should have thought about it. Ah, oh, come on, man. How did that night not... 
oh, you win this time, genius. You win this time. It's my first listen. They probably listened to it like 10 times. And that's where they were like, oh, oh, guys, he's actually saying tulip. But anyway, uh, tulip, two up. I mean, he calls it plucky firewood because he was quick to pick a tulip, two. That's another weapon, uh, name for a gun, by the way. Just like a gat and a whip, two. To pick a two up, to pick a two lip, because he's picking flowers. Like, ah, uh, that's insane, bro. What is this, bro? Why is this there, bro? Why is this? Don't nobody care about tulips, bro. Everyone knows what it is, bro. It's a flower. But what is this? Uh. Okay. Okay, okay, they, they kind of went around it, like, I've heard this, yes, and that's literally what the song Houdini sounds like, to be honest, and looks like, kind of. But it's a long way of saying, yeah, Eminem is inspired by LL, yup, 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 facts. Let's keep going, this this was fun, bro, the, the mwah and the tulip. Bars, bro, these are bars, bro, it's like... Every minute I spend longer with this three minute video making it into what is it? It's, has it been half an hour? It's probably been half an hour. Could be longer because there's still a minute to go. But I'm enjoying myself, bro. This is it's like, can't you see what I'm doing? I'm clearly listening to Eminem while looking up Genius, Googling Wikipedia and stuff like that. I'm obviously listening to Eminem, guys. Like, <laughs> anyway, let's keep going, bro. I don't have all day. I'm hungry. Spaghetti sauce and mozzarella on a tray full of pasta. You got a couple of motherfucking train killers on you. And I'm just being as frank as... Ah! Like, why does that... Nah, nah, hold up. Spaghetti sauce and mozzarella on a tray full of pasta. You got a couple of motherfucking tray killers on ya. Train killers on ya? Killers on ya? You, you get what I'm trying to say? He's talking about spaghetti sauce, mozzarella, tray full of pasta, all kinds of Italian cuisine. Train killers on ya. You remove train killers on ya. You, remo you remove key lasagna. Lasagna, bro. Lasagna, bro. Like, do you know what I'm saying, bro? Lasagna. Lasagna, bro. You remove... Key lasagna. You remove the key and it's lasagna. Now that... Now that I got the last one with the tulip and the moi... I'm not gonna miss these, bro. Hold up. Did Genius catch that? I wonder, bro. Fuck! God, they did get it. Ah, I hate that. I was gonna be like, hey, what now, genius? Damn it, they did get it. <laughs> Killer Zonia sounds like lasagna. Yeah, literally, you remove the key and lasagna. Okay. Damn it, bro. They did get it. I was like, ooh, what now, genius? That was very short lived hype. <laughs> but anyway, that's a bar. Basically, bro, is like spaghetti sauce and mozzarella on a tray full of pasta. You got a, kip, a couple of motherfuckers train killers on you. He's talking about him and LL right now, obviously, because they're dropping this song, calling out all these noobs that can't rap. But, uh, okay. Yeah, obviously, the bar is spaghetti sauce, mozzarella, pasta, lasagna on the killers on you. He has a whole scheme with four different Italian cuisines, bro. I mean, uh, dishes, Italian dishes from Italian cuisine. Uh... Obviously, that's why I can read it. He's just being as frank as Sinatra. Bro's name is literally Frank Sinatra. He's being as frank as Sinatra. The Sinatra. When I be saying that I'm gonna keep the shit gangster as mobsters. Oh, when I be saying that I'm gonna keep the shit gangster as mobsters. But when you got finet. He's gonna keep it gangster, like mobsters. Obviously, mobsters are part of a gang always, so that's a bar in itself. Next going so crazy, they mob you. Looking like organized crime because you can't get a mafia. But when you get fanatics going so crazy, they mob you. Like, looking like organized crime because you can't get him off. You literally get mobbed, you know? Things like, uh, I don't know, paparazzi, they mob you. But obviously, in the last bar, he said it. <clears throat> if you can go back. Gangsters as mobsters. Basically, bro, paparazzi, you are a bunch of gangsters, bro. Stop following him around, bro. Let him live his life, bro. I get that you have to release some shitty article to get some clicks on the internet so you can earn 12 cents, bro. 
But how about you get a life and let him live his, bro? Ooh, I dropped a bar there, bro. You get a life and let him live li live his, bro. That's all I'm gonna say, bro. Ugh, anyway. Ooh, you can't get him off ya? Y'all, y'all heard what he said? When you got fanatics going so crazy, they mob ya. Looking like organized crime because you can't get a mafia. You can't get a mafia. You hear the probably already. You, you can't get a mafia. Obviously, M. You don't say M mafia. You remove the E and you go the M off ya. Sounds like mafia, bro. Mafia. And that's the gangsters. That's the mobs. That's the bar going from two sentences earlier. Oh my god, now I feel like I should go back and re-listen to the whole song again, bro. If I caught the moi, tulip, mafia. What was the last one? I, I just caught another one. Uh, What was it, bro? I just saw it. Oh yeah, the lasagna. Now I'm like, how many more did I miss, bro? Just like that. Did I catch all of them? There's only been four so far and I caught them. Let me know in the comments, bro. Did I miss something in the first two minutes? I will literally go back, bro. Has this video been half an hour already? Oh my god, it's gonna be too long. No one's gonna watch it, bro. Uh, I don't care, to be honest. I'm doing this mostly for myself. This is what I do when I listen to his songs anyway. Now I'm just recording just how crazy I am when I listen to Eminem. That's basically what this video is about. Uh, anyway, the bar, as I just said, uh, you can get a mafia. Mafia. Just like the mafia, the gangsters, uh, bars, bro. Let's keep going. Because you can't get a mafia, mafia. You know your motherfucking enemies. They wanna off you like Hoffa and dump your body in lake. <laughs> they wanna off you like Hoffa. Okay, what? What is the bar here, bro? Like, we know bro is a gangster, but... Oh, damn, they don't even show it. Damn it. Like, what? what is this? You dump your body in Lake Minnetonka? Is, it, is that special? Like, Lake Minnetonka? Like, what is this, bro? Um, no clue, bro. I don't know what the bar is, bro. Someone that understands it will explain it to me, probably. Some uh, fellow American. Please do help me out. Thank you very much. Anyway, let's keep going. You saw, came and conquered. Veni vidi vici, bro. Ugh. Wait, they don't even include the vidi in here. What? Does he not say it or something? He literally says it. Veni vidi vici stomp it. Okay, these lyrics are dumb. What is BDK? Does it say here? What is BDK, bro? Ah, Big Daddy Kane. Long live the Kane. Being served grapes by women. <laughs> okay. <laughs> bro, he's living like a king, bro. Nothing wrong with it, bro. Okay, women treat him like uh, Big Daddy Kane, the king. They feed me grapes. Okay, okay, okay. Either way, I got more on my plate than oh, you can eat buffet. Oh man, I love all you can eat buffets, bro. Like, you can probably see it in my face. Fat. I used to be over 100 kg, bro. I, I did lose weight, but I love to eat food, bro. The only reason I'm working out is so I can eat more food, bro. Because did you know, if you work out, you can eat more food. <laughs> People really think, oh, you're losing weight, you're on a diet. Well, yeah, my diet consists of eating twice as much. <laughs> anyway. Uh, let's continue. Baby Grape, see the way I got more on my plate than an all you can eat my face. So better pick a PC day because your history is shady. It's safe about to set it on you like a TV train, man. I see the way. Better pick a BC date because your history is shady. Isn't before mean like before Christ or something? They'll probably explain it. Oh, they don't even have it, man. What do you mean by that, though? Better pick a BC date because your history is shady as they about to set it on you like a TV tray. What is a TV tray, bro? What? Is that those trays you put in front of you when you're watching TV? Okay, yeah, yeah. Literally for old people. Okay, I, I did get that. They're about to set it on you like a TV tray. Hmm. What does that have to do with pick a BC date? Because your history is shady. What? 
What? What? Better pick a BC date because your history is shady. I mean, about to set it on you like a TV tray, obviously. They set it on you, literally, I get that. Huh? I need to cup my ears a little bit, bro. What? Ah. I am completely lost on this, bro. Someone will need to explain this to me. So better pick a BC date because your history is shady. What does it mean by that, bro? Is he talking about incognito history on Google, bro? Because your history is shady. You watched a lot of, you know, them 18 plus stuff, them XXXs. And your history is shady. Like, no, bro. I have no clue what he's saying. But yeah, well, no. Explain it to me. Thank you very much. I'll be looking out in the comments for, for this specific bar. Uh, anyway, let's keep going. When people say I'm so evil, they fucking Wait. think that Timothy McVeigh and my DNA are exactly the same. But when I leave this game, things just ain't gonna be the same. What? What does he mean by that, bro? Okay. Oh, this is some guy who bombed Oklahoma City bombing. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Because I was like, well, what is that? A rapper I've never heard of, bro? Timothy McVeigh. But the name is not even spelled correctly, bro. The name is McVeigh. But anyway. Uh... People say I'm so evil, they think of this bomber dude and my DNA are exactly the same. Like, golly. You know why? Because Eminem is the bomb. You know? Was that a whipping sound? Did I do it correctly, bro? No? Okay, bros. Y'all really be hating on everything I do, bro. <laughs> anyway, let's keep continue. Let's, let's keep continue. Let, let's continue. Uh, what was it? But when I leave this game, things just ain't gonna be the same. Uh, what does he mean by that, bro? Anything else? Because I saw these, you know, I want to see what he references. And without me, okay? This is a concept that works. 20 million other white rappers emerge, but no man, how many fish in the sea? It'll be so empty without me, okay? BET and MTV are gonna grieve when we leave. Dog for cheesy can't leave a rapper alone. The game needs me. In the drop, the world heard that too. The game ain't gonna be... Okay, wait. The game ain't gonna be the same on the day that I leave it. I think he was going fast on that song, no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hip-hop needs to evolve. This also makes a playoff of parking meters that you put change into so your are can in particular place. Huh? Oh, that's the next line, bro. I wasn't that far. Genius! You're ruining it! Actually, they don't because obviously I listened to this half an hour ago and then I went back to break it down. I remember he was saying something like meter mate. I remember that, so. I mean, you can even hear the, the coins clinking, bro. In, in need of change, you can hear it in the pocket, like. But yeah, and I'm the meter mate. It's in need of change and he's the meter mate, bro. He's literally helping rap evolve, bro. All these young artists you love. They be they they are being put up by these older artists like Eminem, you know. Bro is just paving the way for the new generation, and people be hating him for it. That's crazy, bro. Go ahead and crack a bottle, cause this is DJ. Crack a bottle. Wasn't that a song with uh, 50? Like uh, crack a bottle. Oh, I don't remember it, but I'm pretty sure that's a song from Eminem. Uh, was it 50? Now I gotta look it up. Crack a bottle, Eminem. Why do I think it was with 50, bro? It was, right? Am I dumb? Uh, oh, yeah, it is. Dre and 50 Cent. Crack a bottle. Da, 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 da. Man, I, I really need to listen to Eminem songs again, bro. It's been a while. <laughs> but, yeah. Me, me and James, you got that avocado. And we the sociopaths. And we got your hoe on our laps. And we're going back to Cali so she can blow on our sacks. <laughs> I guess. They're gonna bring one girl back to blow on both their sacks, bro. I'm pretty sure you can afford mo uh, multiple girls, bro. But uh, let's see. I assume it's a reference to the Cracker Bottle. Yeah, okay. Also, ENG is a well known brack of little. Oh, okay. So I didn't know this. But the E stands for Eminem and J stands for James. So James Todd Smith. Yeah, yeah. Because this is ENJ. Okay. The Cracker Bottle, I got the 50 Cent. The ENJ, Eminem James, I got that as well. I didn't know it's an actual brand of drink, though, the ENJ. So I guess, good thing I clicked this. That means it's a double. He's referencing the drink 
and Eminem plus James. Okay, fire, bro. But what does he mean by got that avocado, bro? Like, got them peas? Is that what he means? You know, avocado is green. That's what I assume. When you say you got that green, stacking up the green, could also be weed, you know, but it's mostly avocado, like peas, you know. It's talking about money, right? Mm, they're not even explaining it, but it's that simple. He's talking about green money. So, yeah. And we're the sociopaths, and we get your... Oh, it's your hoe in our laps. Ah, that's why it's only one instead of two. Because you can only afford one. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, anything else? Is that a reference? Going back to Cali. Oh, that's a LOL song. See, I had to click it, you know. Just had to double check, bro. Anyway, we can close this. That's another reference to LOL. Bro, Eminem loves references, bro. That's why I always have to double check everything he says. That's why when I see, like, capital letters, I'm like, what does he mean by that? What does he mean by that? You know, <laughs> I just start panicking, but... Yeah, bro, this was insane, bro. I truly hope this is a real song. If it is, well, there's the breakdown already. <laughs> when it releases, I'm just going to repost this. <sighs> bro, how long it's been? Uh, so if I open uh, OBS, there am I. Hi, me. Uh, 51 minutes and 30 seconds, bro. Ain't no one going to watch this whole video, bro. Not a single person, bro. This, I mean, you might watch it, as in you put it on in the background, just, you know, as some background noise. But ain't no one actually gonna watch this, are they? You might as well watch a whole movie, bro, instead of me breaking down this song. Unless you yourself suck at understanding rap. Well, then I helped you a little bit. All the flows they had, wordplays, uh, alliteration, whatever you call that. The rhyming schemes, the patterns, bro. The doubles, the entendres, the meanings. It's apparently worth almost an hour of breakdown. So, there you go. <sighs> Man, this was fun, bro. I can't wait for his album to release, bro. If he releases 10 songs, well, you already see it's gonna be probably 30 minutes or one hour per breakdown. So, like, share, comment, and subscribe, guys. It's coming any day now when the album releases. Eminem, Death of Slim Shady. Anyway, peace out, Baba Boy, as always. I'll be seeing y'all in the next video. <sighs> I'm finally done. I'm gonna go eat now. Haha, <laughs> bye-bye, bye-bye.